Patriots podcast. Been a fucking minute. I've been busy and nobody else has fucking time to hop on this bitch but me. So we got Danny in the fucking house. Yeah, I'm what back. <laughs> it's been a while. It has been a while. Yeah. I don't remember last time I was on this one. Yeah, it's been a minute. It's been a while. It's been a fucking minute, dude. Uh -huh. yeah, it's good to have you. How's everything been? How's life? Chilling. Chilling? Yeah. yeah. Been working. I've been yeah, working in school. Everybody's fucking working. Yeah, I know. Which is good. That's why I haven't been posting either. Exactly. Because either yeah. I'm busy or A-Rod's busy. Uh -huh. It's just like working. not working right just now. Just working. Yeah. But yeah, I think we're going to come back this week. Do it or have a, do a straight baseball podcast at the end of the year. Yeah. That's what we got to do. Mm -hmm. Baseball has been interesting. Your Phillies suck cock. Yeah. Yankees are shitting the bed again. Dude, do you see those recent power rankings? Mm -hmm. <laughs> they just beat the fuck out of the Rays two I know. times, and then just so happened that the Rays are on top of them in the power rankings, which mm -hmm. I found hysterical. I was losing it. I oh, know. I was like, yeah, that sounds about right. I mean, maybe it's accurate, but fuck them. But you know, that's the Yankees. Are they, Every are they year. playing like right now? Yeah, I they're think? playing the Red Sox. I want to go check this game out, see if they blow this fucking series. I think they're trailing. They're down 4-3 four, four, yeah. right now. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We got Judge hitting a homer, though. That makes me happy. He's, at he, what, he's, he's fucking gone after this year. Yeah, I know. He's, he's, he's leaving. Staying. He's not staying. He's going to the Phillies, bro. Imagine. I think he might go to the Giants. Yeah. Eh, the Giants. That's interesting. You think they'll pull money off of that? Yeah. yeah. Really? Yeah. I don't know about that. I don't know about I that. I think they would. To sign him? Yeah. <sighs> I don't know, dude. All I know is he ain't staying in the Bronx. There's no fucking way. He's, like, uh -uh. arguing over $3 million a year. You're kidding me? Like, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's He's out. The that's the reason you're not staying, right? He's out. Yeah. New York sucks. I get it. We all get it. <laughs> Bro, the New York fan base is about to make uh, Aaron Hicks kill himself, dude. Oh, yeah. Have you, been to, have you been to a game since after we went? No. No. Okay. I'm trying to go so to a, I've been trying to go to a Mets game. But. So I took Gia to a game. Oh, you did which game? And they were playing against Toronto like three weeks back, oh, maybe okay. on a Sunday or something. Okay. And dude, the fans were relentless on Aaron Hicks. It just <laughs> wouldn't stop, bro. Like anytime he caught the ball, he got booed. Anytime he didn't catch the ball, he got booed. Every time he went up to the plate, he got booed. <laughs> well, did you see what he did that one that one week? I forget he, who was when first. When he just absolutely fumbled that. Yeah, the foul ball yeah. And then he just decided not <laughs> decided to decided not in. to go for it. I saw that shit on Instagram. I was like, uh -huh. like even if you touched it, why would you not like go for it no matter what? Bro, he's a, he's something else, man. He's on the he's off the plane. Oh, he but, almost I hit mean, us when we went when we went to that game. Yeah, remember? he did. <laughs> yeah, we got to see him roll up in his big ass truck. And yeah. yeah, dude, he's he's milking that contract that he's got. Oh yeah, he's definitely. He's got made a fucking millionaire for nothing, <laughs> absolutely nothing. But he'll still be there though. Yeah. Now I'm, I'm just thinking for these playoffs, man. These Dodgers are gonna be a bitch. They're just gonna, they look like they're gonna bitch slap everybody. Bro, Gallo, 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 decided, Gallo just like decided. I, there's got to be something wrong with New York. I know. <laughs> like, like New York is. <laughs> Like, got to be one of the most toxic play places for players to play. Because it seems like it nobody wants to play over there. It could be. <laughs> like, Cole has not been the same since he no. came. And you can't tell me that there isn't enough money and good coaches in that system to make him good. Like, <laughs> there's no need. It's just New York. That, and then I'm looking at, like, the upper management making trades that just don't make no sense. Like, we basically sold the whole fucking farm away just to get Josh Donaldson back to the Yeah, Jets. I know. And then we got rid of Montgomery for no fucking reason because Harrison Bader is not going to play this year, I don't Bro, think. Bro, he's doing so much better. What's his, he's like 4 Montgomery, or 5-0 or something. But he was a stud on the Yankees, Yeah, I too. know. There was no need to get rid of him. Like, ever since he got traded, I, I saw this like recently. I think he's like 4-0 with an ERA of 1.3. Yeah, you know who you're I supposed was to like, trade, bro? You're supposed to get rid of Domingo Ramon. Yeah. You're supposed to get rid of these fucking <laughs> bums. Like, you're supposed to get rid of a roll this Chapman. Like, these freaking, these uh, leeches, bro. We have cannons in the bullpen and we're still throwing out Chapman out there and Wandy Peralta. 
You gotta get the fuck out of here. With yeah, that bullshit, bro. you really do. We Peralta left just, the game. Peralta we, just shits the bed. We left the game because Wendy Peralta got put in, and they still won the game. I, don't know. I was like, I, I I can't watch this. Bases <laughs> loaded, and Wendy Peralta's. Was in. it a night game or a day game? No, it's middle of the day. Middle of the day game. Hot as balls, yeah. Oh well, yeah. Yeah, dude. Fucking city fucking stinks. It's a pain in the ass to get into. Do you remember it. when we went? Yeah. What remember about when it? we went to that game? What about like it? Like with me and my boys. Yeah. Bro, did you know when we left that game, someone got shot in the park across the street? Dead ass? Dead ass. <laughs> <laughs> in the old Yankee Stadium? Yeah. I was like, bro, what the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> I was like, why would we go? Some shit has to happen like that. That sounds like New York, bro. New York is fucked right now. I'm, not, I'm just not a fan. Me neither. Yeah, fuck it. I don't really give a shit. Me if neither. anything, dude, I'll go in for the playoffs. They'll be more secure. Oh, yeah. I'll go for a playoff it. game. I don't have to worry about it. I got no problem with that. Oh, yeah. Fuck it. I was supposed to go to a Mets and Padres. Yeah? Didn't go to that because I had some. I had work. work yeah, what do you think about that. Tatis fucking blowing the load there? You just wasted a whole season. Bro, I don't even... I mean, you're going to keep them, but like... Yeah, it's just but, like, bro, get on the fucking field. No, nah, you like, just you gotta you stay just on the field. Tainted yourself so badly. <laughs> he said it was because he had like yeah the he, ringworm he or some ringworm. shit. He yeah, took he the, took the antibiotic yeah, or some shit and had up. it in there. I was you're like, fucking, bro, just shut own up. It. Just own it. I don't want to hear it. Just own it. Ah, Juan, Juan, I called that Juan Soto trade. <laughs> Did you? I didn't. I don't know if I talked about it on my podcast, but me and A Rod were talking like just randomly. I was like, bro, Juan Soto's gonna go to Padres. Watch. He's like, they no, need, he's not. He's gonna go him. like Yankees and everything. I'm like, they needed him. What the what the hell? Were we that's what I was gonna say. I, I said, I said, what are we gonna give him? He goes, nah, he's gonna be Yankee. Watch. Literally the next day, he became a Padre. I was like, told you. We would have had to like give away Jason Dominguez, Volpe. Yeah, we, we had, had to give, give up the whole fucking the whole prospect stream that we have going on right now. Yeah. Oh. So nah, I'm very glad. Yeah, but uh, we've done enough already. Yeah, dude. I I want to talk about two things, non baseball, non sports related. Huh. Actually, some weird fucking shit. What's All right. Up? So, so recently I heard on someone else's show, and then I had to go verify and check, and I started doing a bunch of research on this shit. So, mm-hmm. tell me if you heard about this shit. What? Do you know how much fucking microplastic or just plastic we eat every week? No. It's not a good amount, so now you're not going to stop thinking about it. <laughs> well, now I'm curious. On so. average, all Americans, or I think most people around the world, even eat about a credit card's worth of plastic every week. What the fuck? How fucked up is that, dude? And just put that in your fucking mind. Eh. That's... That's, <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty impressive. And if you eat... Like seafood, especially like whole seafood, uh-huh. so like clams and oysters, anything like that, yeah, like that type of shit. Like, there's even more because the ocean is just fucking polluted with that. Shit. Oh yeah, that shit is definitely polluted. Yeah, and it's just you're eating their stomachs, you're eating their contents. So, you know what I mean? Yeah. E. So yeah, that shit just got me fucking thinking, dude. Yeah, because I'm not like fuck? I'm not like an environmental nut. But I do really appreciate people who go out, clean shit up, make the things yeah. better. Like, you ever hear that kid, like, Boyan Slot, I think it is, who made that boat that cleans up yeah, the Yeah, 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 okay. yeah, yeah, Like, mad respect to him. Yeah, word. And, <laughs> and, like, this is why, like, this shit, like, kind of fucks me up. Like, I want to get, like, farmers in here or some sort of, like, oceanologist, mm-hmm. someone who's got that type so of knowledge. Got, like, yeah. What the fuck's going yeah. on here, dude? Because, like, that, that can't be sustainable. Just... That's got to be fucking with us. And, like, you wonder, like, oh, wow, you have a lot of cancer lately. I wonder if that's got to be it. Like, we're eating fucking tons of plastic all the fucking time. Our body can't process fucking plastic. Nothing can process fucking bad. plastic. Yeah. So I heard about that shit, and it fucked me up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, might as well just eat our credit cards and shit. Dude. At th- that point. Th- but this is, like... That's what I'm saying. Like, you never heard of that. I never no. heard of it before I heard it. And then it fucked me up. I had to go do some research. Well, now you're saying now I'm fucking curious about, like... You're going to go look it up yep, later definitely now. definitely going to look up when I get Because it's fucking creepy. That is creepy. <laughs> and, like, just so, like I said, I'm not an environmentalist nut or anything, but, like, we yeah. got to do something about that. Whatever the fuck we're doing, we have to do it better to do that. And I wonder, like, if it has a lot to do... Because I didn't do, like... 
a ton of research to the point where I know exactly where mm-hmm. the fuck it's coming from. But you have to think, using all this plastic packaging, using all this stuff to to transport our foods and shit's got to mm-hmm. play a role, right? Yeah. Or is it all in the digestive system? Like, I'm not sure which way it fucking goes. But either go way, it's ways. fucking scary. Could yeah. go both ways. Exactly. But it's fucking scary either way. Because... Like what the fuck is this? Like what? I feel like once that started, it's in the food chain now. Yeah, you don't get it out. No, it's not going away now. <laughs> we fucked up. Yeah, nothing goes away once it starts going in that shit. Right? Like, nope. like that's when you start poisoning the the fucking water cycle and uh-huh. shit. This is the same shit that's going on. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. yeah. So, like, I want I want your fresh thoughts on that. You just heard that. I don't know. That's just like <laughs> that's just crazy. Now that you said it, that my head spin. Mm-hmm. But I will say, we do gotta do something about that shit. Mm-hmm. Because like even even like not from the water, like when you go to a fucking beach, there's hella shit on the in the fucking sand. Mm-hmm. Like I went to I went on vacation down the shore, fucking. Mm-hmm couple times this year actually like three or four times but like one time i went down to um it was wildwood but like i never had a problem with wildwood ever Mm -hmm. fucking me and my boys go down there and like i'm stepping on the sand where we start throwing the football a little bit blah blah and like i go in the ocean my foot's like burning i'm like why the fuck my foot burning i fucking look look up there's a piece of glass stuck my foot are you serious yeah i was pissed but like nothing nothing was wrong with it it wasn't rust or nothing, so like I was fine. But like I never had a problem with wildwood ever my whole life going down there. I have been going down there since I was born. That's fucked. never had a problem. That's fucked. But I don't know. I don't know. It's just like people just just dirty. Like I don't understand like how you like you do that. Like just it's not that hard to fucking like people like even by the garbage. Like it's right in the ground. Like you don't have to carry. Like you can't just pick it up, put it back in. Like. It's just laser on the ground. And, like, I see a hell of videos of, like, these seals getting nets and everything calling their yeah. fucking neck. I'm like... Oh, all over the Yeah, it's for us. It's from us. Like, it's not... The things that hold the sodies mm-hmm. together and fucking wrapped around a turtle's neck mm-hmm. or some shit. Yeah. Yeah, it fucks, fucks you up. But Bro, like, I got I to gotta tell you a story, though. Okay. We went down the shore. All right. <laughs> it was, you met Zach, right? The kid? Yeah. We went to baseball game. With. Have you met Callan? Yeah. You met Callan? Yeah. Yes, you have. Okay. So, me, Zach, and Cal want to take a trip before we went back to school, before uh-huh. we start work again. So, I was like, all right. So, we went to the end of August. So, we get down there, and we all decide to go mini golf in Ocean City. Okay. Because it's like 10 minutes from my house, and like, while well, we didn't feel like driving all the way over there. So, we go to Ocean City. We go to two mini golf spots. Okay. Fun as fuck. Lit courses. We had a blast. We start walking back to his car. And I was driving because he doesn't know his area, the area down there. So uh-huh. I was just driving his car. So we go back to where we parked. And there's like three cops around his car and a lady sitting on the sidewalk behind his car. I thought she was drunk, whatever. So I go to the officer. I'm like, hey, do you mind if we move the car? Like, we don't mean to bug you, but like we parked here. We want to like go back home. He goes, oh, this is your car? I'm like, it's not my car, my friend, but I live down here, so, like, mm-hmm. I know the area. He goes, okay. And he looks at Callan, because that was Callan's car. He goes, there was a minor accident. We're like, what the fuck? Nah, come on. Apparently, the girl who was sitting on the, like, behind the car uh-huh. was the mother of the son who hit our car. Oh, great. I was like, oh, fuck it. Okay. Fantastic. I don't know if the kid was on his permit. I could be wrong. And, like, I don't even. Because there was red tags on his license plate. Uh-huh. So, basically, the mom. Like, they start explaining to us. Basically, what he did was we were parked in a spot. And we were parked in front of a hotel. Okay. So, people were coming out. But, like, it's not like I was parked, like, very close at entrance. Because my car. The car was up. Uh-huh. This kid literally had to, like, turn, like, sharp as fuck to hit me. Yeah. So, where he, I guess where he came out, he didn't realize how close he was getting. And he literally made a sharp-ass turn, he said. I was like, why are you making a sharp-ass turn? Just go in the street and make it right. Like, it's not that hard. 
<laughs> he literally goes, I was coming out and made a sharp turn. So I'm like, all right, whatever. Kid literally clipped the whole bumper, scraped everything, hit the tail light, cracked it a little bit, but like fenders popping out. We're like, we're like, bro, what the fuck? <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, and it's not even like he had a big car. He had a small ass Honda Pilot. <laughs> I was like, bro, like how? And like, he's just like talking to like my friend Cow. He's like, yo, I'm so sorry, blah, blah. I was like, bro, you can be sorry, but like, how the fuck do you do that? Like, I'm sorry, but like, how do you do that? <laughs> so now he's got all like a whole fucking case number and shit and I gotta go I probably have to go pick it up for him or some shit down the shore dude what the fuck that's why I said we all went back to the car we're like bro we literally fucking went, just went to go play mini golf and like we get, the car gets hit <sighs> long story short he's not going back down there with his car <laughs> yeah what, do you mean? what the fuck that's some fucked bullshit man yeah Damn. it was but that great great way to end our summer yeah. great way to end the summer <laughs> I ever tell you about the little dingbat that dinged up my door in like the Petco park? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> on your trailblazers, right? Yeah. <laughs> you told that story. He already hit the fucking spot that where it was already a dent, so I didn't really care. But he fucking did it twice. <laughs> Weren't you in the car when he did it too? Yeah. Because <laughs> I had those tents, so you couldn't. Just, yeah, because he shit in it, so he just he thought nobody was in it. And uh. then the dad yelled at him. He just fucking did it again. What the fuck? Oh People shit! Are fucking ruthless, dude. Absolutely fucking ruthless. Yeah, they are. I watched someone just pull, just completely pull out of a in that same parking lot, like pull out of a spot, back up, and like had their head wrenching out the back, and just weren't paying attention to this side of the fucking car, mm-hmm. and you hear, <laughs> and then just depressing metal, and then he just goes, ah. Oh, Pulls, pulls back in. He's like, ah, shit. And then he just fucking up and left. <laughs> like, uh, people should not have no license. Nah, dude. Yeah, there should be some more rigorous testing, I think. Bro, you used to see the people where I go to college in Montclair. Oh, yeah, it's retarded. Oh, my God. I can't like, they literally, they literally want to, I literally want to, like, get out of the car and punch all of them. Like, it's so yeah. bad. Like, today, I fucking walked back to my car. Like, I'm not leaving. I told, like, this person in front of the guy. He obviously saw me say it. Kids literally have his blinker on right in front of my car just, just waiting, waiting for, for me to, to pull out. Leave. I'm like, I'm just sitting there on my phone like, I'm not moving. Like, I to- <laughs> you saw me tell a guy who just pulled off, say, I'm not leaving. He's still sitting there. I'm like, bro. I literally got out of the car. I was like, you know I'm not leaving, right? He goes, oh, I thought you were. I was like, bro. And literally this kid, it's like two-way park curving garage. So you mm-hmm. can like go this way or that way. This kid literally all I had to do was go straight. This kid literally makes a fucking K turn in the middle of the parking parking garage and goes the other other way. I was just sitting there watching him the whole fucking time, just like laughing, laughing and like being like, "Yo, how stupid can you be?" Uh, I don't know, dude. There's some wacky fucking shit. Oh, we saw some weird fucking shit at the Yankee game, dude. Went and parked. Really? Yeah. So he took a. What you? Kia's how'd you guys car. get there? Did he, he took the car? He took or? Kia's car, parked in a garage down the street. Mm-hmm. We come back to the car after the fucking game, and there's just a piece of shit with napkins <laughs> on the ground <laughs> next to the car. <laughs> what, uh, the, what the fuck, dude? <laughs> New York is wild. In a parking garage. Like, you can't tell me there's not bathrooms, either a floor up or a floor down. Like, you had to fucking shit. Right in between <laughs> a van and our car. What the fuck? Guess he dude? couldn't wait. What the fuck, dude? Oh my God. New York. Like going down the street in New York City, you see shit every now and then. It's oh disgusting. yeah, literally. It's, it's fucking disgusting, dude. I went right. to Jersey City not long ago. Yeah. With my aunt for like a dinner or something. Yeah. Not How bad. was it over there? It was alright. I haven't been to Jersey City in a while. It's been alright. It was alright. I mean, there are some weirdos. I will say that, but like, it's not, it's not bad. Yeah, it's not that bad. Yeah, I don't know, dude. I don't know how I feel about all that, that whole area and everything. Because yeah. I had to go. Down I mean, there. I mean, same going. To, we said we we're going to Jersey. I was like, okay. Nah, not the hate on it, but like, I'm like just some like spots over there. To yeah, go there's. To, yeah. I went. I've been over there a couple times for like appointments. Really? Yeah. yeah it's like I don't really know. Can you drive that far over there? I go all over the fucking Shit. place. Yeah. Dude. Yeah, Jersey I'm actually going to truck now. Huh? Yeah, we might. A lot. 
Yeah. <laughs> you got this shit with like 34,000, yeah. right? Another bad thing about this fucking job is how many fucking miles. Like, I'm already scheduling my second oil change since I started the job. Really? Yeah, I haven't even wow. been here for three months. I mean, I'm in the same boat as you, so like. How fucking that... dumb is that? I'm in the same boat. How here. fucking dumb is that? I gotta put tires on this bitch soon? Yeah. Yeah, fuck. Winter's coming, gotta put them winter tires on. Yeah, I only have winter tires, but it's fine. Mm. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking for a second car. Actually. Yeah? Yeah. Are you? What yeah. are you thinking about? I'm getting a truck. Yeah? Yeah. I'm getting, right. I'm getting, I think my... I was thinking about Silverado, but okay. like, Silverado's just like expensive. And like they're I can't, I can't expensive. afford it right now. They're all fucking expensive. I mean, yeah, but like for where <laughs> I need it. Are you going to? Are you going in on on it with your dad, or are you doing it all on your own? So I am gonna need a cosigner because eh. like I I do have a credit score, and so it's it's really it's pretty good as now. Yeah, you just don't have a good it amount just, of credit. Yeah, I just don't have yeah. it like all backed up. So I'm gonna need a cosigner. But like as of now, my kind of like price range is like kind of good. So yeah. like. Probably the best option for me. I'm trying to find her like a Ram 1500. Yeah, like a like a few years old. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I found the found a nice 2014 in the day. I'm gonna go look at it on Saturday. See if I can trade my GTI in on it. All right. All right. So, All right. Yeah, that Dude, that, yeah, you that need that, something for the winter. Uh, not even that. That that car is. I'm beating the shit out of that car, yeah. and it's a 2021. Yeah. I got 16 thousand miles on that shit already. Yeah, it's uh, bad. That's what I put on on the truck so far. Oh, that's yeah. so bad. It's retarded. Yeah, it's fucking retarded. Yeah, any of you fellas looking to do outside sales, go get a beater. Uh huh. Go get a fucking beater. Uh huh. It's fun though. It's fun shit, dude. It's fun. I like. I mean, I love going to work and shit. Like, yeah. I don't have a problem driving. It's just like the aftermath of <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Miles yeah. Looking, <laughs> yeah like looking back on it, and you're like, fuck. That that's not a good number. No, yeah. I got that car like thirty eight miles on it. I put yeah. sixteen on that. I'm like, shit, bro. <laughs> yeah, dude, it's not fucking good. It's not good. I'm in the same fucking boat as that. I mean, work's been pretty good though. Good, good. Summer, summer, summer ended a couple months ago. No, so yeah, can't speak. They started September six. Mm-hmm. So I was basically in like every day mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. from the end of school which was in June till September 6th every day mostly just not Fridays cause Fridays I had to get shit done but like Monday to Thursday I was there every day good shit did I tell you I got COVID? yeah you did yeah yeah how was it? I don't know where the fuck I got it from <laughs> I don't I told know. You, those grimy ass kids, bro. They carry that shit. Like I crazy. like they were they were in summer camp when yeah. I got it. Yeah. But like, like me and my dad work together. Uh-huh. He didn't get it. Okay. So that's where I was kind of like, okay, if he didn't get it, where the fuck did I get it from? But I also went to a party the day before. Mm-hmm. So then I called the girl who hosted. I was like, hey, did you hear anybody who else like got COVID? She goes, no, I haven't heard anything. Why? I was like, because I got fucking COVID. Like, I don't know where it came from. She's like, no, I haven't heard nothing. I was like, okay. What the fuck? Be- it was funny, though, because I was down the shore. Yeah. With my family at my shore house. And <laughs> I, like, got, like, a sore throat out of, like, nowhere. Okay. I was like, okay, this is, like, weird. So, like, we took two cars down. I was like, hey, like, I think I'm going to go home. My mom's like, why? Like, what's up? I was like, I got a sore throat, and like, just in case, I don't want to be by you guys, blah, blah, She's like, okay, just go home. So, like, I didn't think of nothing. Uh-huh. It went away on my way home. I was like, <laughs> okay, I'm chilling. Next day, I have work. I had a stuffy nose in the morning. Not bad to where, like, I couldn't breathe. Like, kind of uh-huh. like right now, because, like, the yeah, weather's changing. Shit. Yeah. So, I go to work. Bro, I'm literally there for, like, 20 minutes. All of a sudden, I got chills. I feel hot as fuck. My nose is like, I can't breathe. Um, I got body great. aches from like head down. Fucking great. And like, I'm like this on the fucking window in the classroom. My dad's like, what's wrong with you? I was like, bro, I feel like I just got hit by a fucking truck. He's like, you look like you're like horrible. I was like, yeah. I literally went to work for a fucking hour, clocked out, just went home. home. <laughs> I was like, yo, ma, I need to do something. She's like, yeah, like. You know, like how you feel I was like, and she was like yeah go get a COVID test literally waited two hours for a fucking COVID test 
Yeah. I want to kill myself. <laughs> get get my test. I go in the waiting room, waiting for him. They call me into the room. Doctor comes in and goes, well, you got COVID. I was like, fuck. <laughs> Literally sat a week in my room. Bro, it was the most boring shit ever I've ever done. Yeah. Literally just sitting there, not be able to do nothing. Did you get any symptoms back after that day? The second day, yeah. all I had was a fucking stuffy nose. And I kept testing positive for four days. That was it? Literally for four days. After after I got it, <sighs> second day stuffy nose, third day, it was like nothing ever happened. Nothing. This and I finally shot, and I man. finally tested negative Sunday before I was going back to work. Nice. Nice. Now, this is fucking going away faster, though. Yeah, I know. Remember I wonder if that's it? because I'm vaccinated. I have no I don't idea, know. dude. Because it seems like everybody's like, or at least they're saying everybody's fine. Yeah. Like, after five days. Because days my co-worker that I work with, he got it yeah. from his daughter. And he said he had it bad for three days. Okay. I don't know if he's vaccinated or not. Yeah. And he said he had it for three days, like, really bad. And then, yeah. like, the fourth day he, he was, like, in quarantine... Like, nothing happened. It was fine. I was like, bro, like, what the fuck? <laughs> Shit's fucking weird, dude. That new strain is fucking weird because it's going around, like, so much and nobody and, like, knows they yeah. fucking have it because it's, like, stuff. I love how, like, they... got a tickly throat. Yeah, exactly. It's like, yeah. it's like having a little cold. Mm-hmm. But, like, it's so funny how, like, they say, like, oh, it's, like, mad contagious. Bro, I was literally not wearing a mask my fucking family for two days. Mm-hmm. None of them got it besides me. Mm-hmm. And it was just like, it's just like, I don't know if it's like immune system or like because you're vaccinated, but like, I don't think it's because you're vaccinated whatsoever. I, I don't know, because they say that new one is fucking, is like, escaped. It's not really affected by the vaccine, so. <laughs> I don't fucking know. There's no fucking reason to even think about it at this point. Like, I know. I, I wonder if, like, got it. you know a bunch? Yeah, like, yeah. fucking my friend who his parents go to Turkey, she, his mom came back like from the trip. Yeah, she had, she got it. She's walking around with no mask on, and I, I didn't know she had it. Yeah. Literally saw Cal, Cal tells me this day he's like, yo, my mom's got COVID. Look in the fucking door, she's got no mask on. I'm like, you sure? She goes, yeah, she tests positive. Nice. I was like, okay, and literally, ever I saw him like two weeks ago. Never, nothing. <sighs> I'm just, Man, like, I don't even fucking know, dude. I don't know either. It's all fucking shot with that thing, dude. Yeah. It's all shot. And now they got the monkey pox. So now we got round two, dude. Yeah. It ain't gonna hit us with fucking... It's never gonna disease end. Disease number two. It's yeah. never gonna end. I mean, that's the problem with actually like trusting this pharmaceutical fucking business side of things. With so much control over everything. And now they just tell us anything. People are gonna want to react. Like, it's fucking dumb, dude. You see like in the news for like probably like two weeks straight was all fucking monkey pox this all this that and the other thing and then they pretty much determined down to the wire that it's a fucking std only carried by gay men uh, and then they were like all right well this is going on the back burner <laughs> and now like, nobody's talking about it anymore no nope. just out the window now <laughs> oh my goodness like uh, even shit, even in college like we're, like i take a human diseases class yeah. like this year and, like, we'll mention, like, COVID and, like, monkeypox, but, like, it's, like, whatever now. Like, literally, I, like, I, like, there's a mask policy at Montclair. Still? Not, not anymore. It's optional. Okay. Bro, literally, ever since they said that, nobody in that fucking school wears a mask. Exactly. And, like, I don't blame nobody because, like, I understand when we first got it, yes, we had to wear a mask because we didn't know what the fuck we were dealing with. But, like, now... Yeah, like, bro, your later, immune system is going to be shitty if you fucking keep doing that but shit. But three years later, dude, it doesn't make any sense to do yeah. it. And, like, the the mask thing is fucking hilarious to me because 99% of people who are wearing a mask are wearing that fucking surgical mask. Mm-hmm. But you know ain't doing dick, mm-hmm. right? And then you have a certain percent that are using, like, fucking bandanas and, like, that's even worse. Mm-hmm. And, like, only a certain amount are using the one that's actually supposed to be fitting to your face, fucking keeping whatever. Yeah. And, and even at that point, you have to think, like, you need some sort of filter or else something's getting in there. That's what I always thought. Like, if you don't have some sort of filter, you don't have some sort of air bubble keeping mm-hmm. your air clean and the outside air not, you're just wasting your fucking time. 
<laughs> like, and that's just common sense. It's not me being a doctor. Like those yes, fucking yeah. surgical masks are meant for like blood splatter and mm-hmm. like and like so I'm not sweating on you exactly. through my mouth and my pores and exactly. shit. And like, and, oh, uh, dude, I don't know. It's never gonna end. It's always gonna be something new. It's always gonna be something new. It's always gonna be something new. Yeah, dude. I mean, the problem is when you look back on history, people in power need situations to take advantage of to change the way things are going, change the course. So, mm-hmm. like, whether it be a war, whether it be a famine, whether it be a natural disaster, whether mm-hmm. it be a fucking pandemic, whether, whatever the fuck they want to pick from their laundry list, like, they just go down the fucking circuit. Exactly. And, like, now you see, like, it depends on what side of the news you watch, but, like, if you're looking at right wing news, it's that we have a crisis, a uh, immigrant crisis, mm-hmm. and we have extreme inflation. And then mm-hmm. if you're looking from the left side of the media, we have a gun problem and we have an abortion problem because mm-hmm. they just changed the law. Yeah. And like, there's always, it doesn't matter what side you're coming from, there's always some angle of fucking emergency, right? And climate change has been the big one for the past like five, ten years. It's like just getting r- ramped mm-hmm. up and ramped up and ramped up. And then like, that's the other thing that I wanted to talk about because I, th- I fucking mm. found it hilarious. So you see what's going on in California right now? All the, like, rolling blackouts and shit like that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. So uh, doing a little bit of research and finding out, like, what the fuck's going on over there, mm-hmm. and there is some things that you take just out of being, like, proactively paying attention as well. So first of all, you have all these electric cars they keep buying over there, and California's mm-hmm. got the most of them by far, right? Mm-hmm. You're not really in a sense helping out the environment too much by putting more of a strain on the electric grid Mm -hmm. so you're taking the strain off of the gas market and putting it on the electric grid so now you need to make more power right yep now that bear that in mind oh i know okay now now let me explain the second (laughs) second tier of problems here for california california's got the most solar power in the whole nation Mm -hmm. 25 percent of their power comes from solar how much does solar work during the day well, yeah, easy answer. Half yeah, the day. Yeah, half the day. Half the day. Maybe a little bit more, maybe yeah. a little bit less. Half the day. Well, as long as what, the sun's what out. What happens when the sun goes down? <laughs> yeah, you, you lose that. <laughs> okay? Now, if, if 25% of your whole state's power is coming from solar energy, mm-hmm. and 25% of that power goes away at 7 o'clock at night, mm-hmm. what happens when everybody needs to... Start charging their cars at seven o'clock. Turn on their lights at seven o'clock. Run their air conditioning at seven mm-hmm. o'clock. Whatever the fuck it might be, you don't have it. <laughs> and like, this is the fucking problem. Like, uh, I'm in a, I'm in the renewable energies field right now. It's where my job is, and it just made me pay attention to this more because we, we don't have any effective battery system to store yeah. power. Like, the technology's just not there yet. Mm-hmm. So this big green push is all fucking fantastic until, like, oh, wait a minute. This is not good. <laughs> like, we uh, fucked we're, up. We're going to have to... <laughs> We're going to have to go back and and use all these dirty fuels they keep telling us are all terrible in order to just stay alive right now Mm because we fucked up. And, like, just gets me thinking, like, wondering if they didn't think it out all the way or wondering if that's, like, kind of the plan. But I can't think that it's the plan because it's just crumb. Like, look at the way they have it right now. That was the plan? Like, that? you're telling me that's the plan? You sound just a little bit dull. Just a little bit. I don't know. I don't even like electric cars. Like I can't. It's not even like, like even with the environment, it's like shitty. But like even like for me, like I cannot. I don't like electric cars. Like I couldn't give a rat's ass like for or against them. But to tell you the truth, people who are very high advocates of them, especially like politicians and mm-hmm. whatnot, it's like it's like okay, I will concede to you that it doesn't emit like a gas. Yes. Engine, okay. What went into the process of making the car? You're using a shit ton of things anyway. You have to dispose of that battery. So if you're talking environmentally, where is, just take Cali as an, as an example, where is 75% or more of that car's energy coming from? Not renewable sources. Mm-hmm. It's coming from fucking coal or natural gas anyway, because you guys won't do fucking nuclear. So yeah. if you're doing all that math, you're not really helping the fucking environment out anyways. <laughs> like, Well, they think they are. They're doing an amazing job with it, supposedly. <laughs> Did you see the fucking guy who's who's charging his fucking Tesla with a gas a gas yeah. powered generator and yeah. 
because uh-huh. he can't charge it off his house because of what they said. Oh, I don't dude. know. I don't know if you've seen it, but have you seen the new that? Like, have you heard like the Dodge reveal of no no Challenger or Chargers anymore, and they're gonna go all electric? Yeah, and then you well, hear, you suppose, hear the fake engine sounds too. Supposedly, like the Challenger. Mm-hmm. I don't know if they're really getting rid of the Challenger because they're making well, they're making a, an electric one. I they're think. making electric convertible, yeah. but it's not the real Challenger. I'm like, bro, it's not a gas Challenger, so they are getting rid of it. And like. The charger, bro, I was just cracking the fuck up when I heard the charger, like, make that fucking noise. When the, it has Is that a the breath. one that sounds like the jet? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> bro, I was cracking up. I could not stop laughing for, like, at least, like, ten minutes. I sent that to everybody I knew about cars, and they were like... This is just sad. I'm like, bro, it really is sad when you have to, like, make, like, a noise for yep. a revving. Yep. I'm just like, like, I understand they want to, like, go electric and shit, but, like. I mean, dude. It's not going like, to work. But this is why, like, I, I this is why I want to talk about it, too, because it's fascinating. Mm-hmm. It's like, and I'm sure that you had, did you have to take, like, an environmental science class yet, either in high school or in college? Yeah. Okay. So, you've been through that whole thing where they, they basically put you through a whole fucking curriculum mm-hmm. teaching you how all carbon-based fuel sources are bad mm-hmm. you want to get away from them but what is also bad is nuclear power and this yeah. is why because we've had these accidents mm-hmm. right they, they don't explain the good part about nuclear or how you only need like a coke can's worth to supply your whole life worth of power right mm-hmm. okay great we just throw that out the window so now what we have is fucking hydro wind and solar mm-hmm. those are only three fucking options wind and solar are very variable how can you make a sustainable grid off of that? And then hydro, you need to be in the right spot. Mm-hmm. So, you know, it's it's fucking... Just to think, they're planning this stuff out. Yes, I want a cleaner environment. I really do, because I do think it's important for us to fucking do. Yeah, How do we too. do it needs to be strategically laid out. And exactly. especially, it, it needs to be laid out in, in like in incremental pieces that we get to like you can't mm-hmm. just pry like what they're doing in cali now is trying to say that no new vehicles past 2030 can be gas right okay all right let's let's try that yeah okay let's see how that goes you better open because up more power grids where's though. sure open up the power grids but <laughs> i'm more concerned with like where is all this fucking material coming from where are you getting all this shit because they're already know. having trouble sourcing this stuff out. Like, you already see, like, new car problems. Like, we don't have Not even new, new cars on the lot. Yeah, we don't I mean, have yes. all this shit, yeah. right? Now we're going to add fucking... Okay, we're only going to allow these certain types of vehicles to be made. Like, <laughs> but, like, now you also... Like, <laughs> gas? Gas is... I mean, I'll go for either word, but, like, I just feel like gas is so much more easier. Because, like, you can work on gas left and right like i know this that this that fucking you get an electric car it's all battery mm-hmm. so like if something goes wrong you have to turn it in basically and get a new one mm-hmm. and like i like for me i rather worry about something going my gas car Mm-hmm. Than a fucking my fucking battery blowing up or that's something the thing shit. too is like if your battery goes on that car you're better off financially going and just buying a fucking exactly. new one and not worrying about like what do you do with that battery <laughs> that battery's fucking gone like like <laughs> you have to worry like you have to worry about your car even gas you have to worry about it blowing up but more likely than not it's not going to do that uh-huh. fucking battery can overheat like instantly yeah. and it's just. <laughs> Yeah, and also, like, if you're putting that much stress, like, a lot of stress on an electric motor, I don't think it lasts and for like, you're gonna, like seven, eight years. You're going like, to give a 17-year-old a fucking electric car? That thing's going, dude, but that thing's going in the can if you use it for six, seven years in a row heavy. That battery can't, like, your your total charge, like, total mile percentage starts slowly degrading mm-hmm. every year. And all of a sudden, like, you can only drive up a buck eighty, a buck fifty. Like, what the fuck is it worth having a gas tank that could... Or, electrical charge that can only go 150 miles <laughs> like what the fuck is that know. gaining you you know it's just... but this is why i found it i found it very funny to see what they're doing and then now so like the governor puts limits on uh like what what hour you can 
run the most trying to tell people to keep the thermostat at 78 or higher imagine fucking imagine someone a little bit older who's got to keep their fucking thermostat at 78 degrees i know it would suck for me because i'd fucking oh, hate yeah, it shit, but i'd just be that. sweating i'd just yeah. be sweating it's whatever but like for older people like they, they, they could have problems like legitimate fucking health problems if they're not regulating the temperature exactly. that they're around like them being around just 80 degrees. Okay, it's 95 outside, 120 outside. They come inside, it's fucking 78. They're still mm-hmm. sweating their fucking balls off. <sighs> That's crazy. And then, like, with all that, there's even, like, a side tangent mm-hmm. that I wanted to go into, too. It's, like, all these fucking smart thermostats. And, like, a bunch of them, yeah. people didn't realize, especially out in Cali, that you sign these fucking documents to get this shit fucking installed in your house, right? That company maintains a right to change your thermostat for mm-hmm. you, right? Yeah. And, like, I asked my dad, because we got the shit, obviously. I was like, Dad, like, do we have this shit? And he's like, oh, yeah. So it's like, when I walk out of the house, the house gets fucking hot. And I was wondering, like, well, me and Lawrence are here. They're out on fucking vacation, right? Mm-hmm. And all of a sudden, we, like, wake up, and it's fucking 79 degrees in the house. <laughs> We're like, what Holy the fuck, fuck is going on? <laughs> my dad's like, oh, we got to get the app. You got to get the app, dude. <laughs> It's my dad. You know my dad. My dad's the one tell. You gotta get the app, man. I don't know what to tell you. What the fuck? But if they start having issues with the power grid, bro, they could just fucking change everybody's thermostat. Everyone who's got a smart thermostat, the mm-hmm. fucking Jetson noise, it goes up. Yeah. Well, I wish your dad knows what happens. My dad doesn't fuck with phones. <laughs> oh, he I hates them. My dad's not a fan either, trust me. I gotta teach him three quarters of the time. Oh, yeah, me too. But the whole point being is that, like, (laughs) a lot of these people have no idea what they signed up for. And, like, of course, Cali is gonna be the main driver Mm -hmm. in that smart technology, this all electric smart home bullshit Mm -hmm. fucking what the fuck ever. And people aren't gonna realize, like, oh, government, great, the government's got fucking control of the temperature in my house now. Like, what what the fuck is that? (laughs) <laughs> yeah so you put that shit on like 65 there and be like nope <laughs> it's, it's slow too put it right back to where it it's goes slow too because yeah. mm-hmm. when we saw it we you know we of course knocked it back down to like 69 yeah 68. it takes a little while for it to fucking and kick then, back down no but then it'll reset itself back up to 76 77 whatever the fuck it does when we're out of the house <laughs> like uh <laughs> That's pretty funny. Yeah, dude. But, like, this is, like, our new problems. Going into the future, this is going to be the shit we got to worry about. I know. Yeah, like, people say, oh, privacy don't matter. No, privacy matters. Yeah, where it that, does. that shit fucking it matters. Does. Yeah. Yeah. Now you can't, like... Because you have to think, when you go and buy, like, a new appliance nowadays, like, you go and get a fridge, you go and get a, a freezer, you go the fucking combo, you go mm-hmm. get a stove... The smart stove and the smart fridge are the same price or cheaper than the regular conventional fridge or yeah. stove nowadays, right? Mm-hmm. So like people are going to say, oh, why not? Why wouldn't I just get this new one? It's got all these fancy fucking buttons on it. Mm-hmm. Oh, great. <laughs> more shit to break, just if yep. you think about it. More wiring, more electrics mm-hmm. involved. Especially when you're talking about a fridge or a stove. Stoves got fucking oils and shit flying all over the place when you're cooking and stuff like that. But when you got a fridge, you're talking about very cold water and whatnot. Mm-hmm. It's got all... So you even see, like... Because we got our house in 2007. So all that stuff was relatively... Yeah. Well, of course, it was top-of-the-line high-tech back then. Mm. But like even still, when you're talking about, like, my fridge. Yeah. It's not a new fridge. Like, that fridge has been around since 2007. Like, the thing has some issues with, like, the displays and shit mm-hmm. and, like... I know that my grandparents' fridge was, like, 40 years old when they moved. Oh, yeah. Like, that shit was a brick. Mm-hmm. And we got a freezer down, that one in our garage that's yeah, got all the fucking meat in it. Yeah. That thing's, like, 50 years old. <laughs> They're like, they don't make shit to last like that no Yeah, more. no, like, no. And I don't think that people realize, like... It's all about money nowadays. Most likely, those fucking smart things, they're all incentivized, or they're all... Like, something's making that cost go lower, because yeah. you can't tell me that that's cheaper to make. Yeah. A functioning thing with fucking the smart... Well, it's all about shit. money nowadays. Oh, yeah. They just make it till... They want to make it till, and then you gotta go get a new one, because... But there's, there's gotta be... There's gotta be a fucking reason for this smart shit, and I can't help but think nefariously when it, when it comes to that. Like, I feel like that those fucking companies have to have an, a reason to make all this yeah. shit, like, fucking smart. They want an app on your phone. They want another app on your well, phone. Well, even if you want to think about, think about TVs. Hmm? 
Mm-hmm. You can't even get a regular TV no, no. more. It has, it has to, to be, be a smart fucking TV smart now. TV. Yep. It's got to be. It's fucking all of them are like Roku TVs now. Yeah. yeah it's like, it, you know something's going on yeah. with that. Like, somebody's getting paid in the background uh-huh. for all that shit. And, yeah. It's all got to be, like, think about it. Follow the money trains. Probably got to be all that. Those companies like Amazon, Netflix, Hulu, that yep. are fucking paying. Like, like, yeah, yeah, we'll help you make that TV cost less money. We'll give you some money to fucking, but it's got to be a Roku TV or it's yeah. got to be a fucking streaming TV. That way it's got, or your your remote's got to, like, look at my fucking remote. It's got a Hulu button, mm-hmm. a Netflix button, yep, and fucking exactly. Amazon. Like, they're paying for that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they're paying for your TV to be cheaper. It, ha- it has to be. And I think logically. How the fuck else would they get those fucking names on those... those you, th- you think this fucking T- TLC or TCL fucking TV company that made my fucking TV here, you think they willingly made a TV with a remote? And they're like, oh, you know what? We'll just mm, add these. Let's add Amazon. <laughs> let's add Netflix. And let's add Hulu because people really like to use... Uh, no, they'll make a fucking remote that's just playing Gene. Mm-hmm. They're getting paid. That's like an advertisement. Yeah, getting, yeah exactly. <laughs> Just adding on top of the, what they have already. Oh, That's man, all it is so nowadays. fucking sick. And, like, and, yeah, I just can't stand it. And, like, you look at, like, ads now for social media. Like, every two posts has to be an ad. Yep. Every, every fucking, like... Look at YouTube. Yeah, it's fucking YouTube's disgusting. YouTube's fucking ruined. You, YouTube sucks, dude. Like, it's ad after ad. Like, you can't just enjoy, like, what, fucking, like, five-minute video. It's just, mm-hmm. like, four ads mm-hmm. in it. I saw a really funny, funny fucking meme about that the other day. It was like... <laughs> It was like when you gotta watch through the ads and you're looking up like a life saving video, <laughs> like you need like a Heimlich or something, and it's like, yeah, you know, one of those common fucking YouTube <laughs> yeah, ads. Or, funny. You know what it was playing? It was like playing the background noise. You know when YouTube gives you like a fucking survey? Yeah, it's like, yeah, do, yeah. Do, 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 do. <laughs> guys just watching. He's <laughs> got someone laying on the floor and he's just watching. Holy uh. shit, dude. Holy shit. Can't. Or... I fucking can't. And, like, that social media is such a poison, dude. Because it makes it even worse. And, like, fun, one of the funniest examples of that, we fucking ended on this. You see those TikTok nurses? Yeah. <laughs> I can't. With them. Just lost a patient. Don't know what I'm going to do to myself later. <laughs> like, some stupid shit like that. <laughs> like, you know you're going to go home. What? It's just, dude. I texted that shit to G. I'm like, I'm like, if this is you, I don't want any part of it. <laughs> I don't blame you. Oh my god, dude. I, I saw... see at least like four of them a day, right? I see at least like four of them a day, right? You see, like, oh, it was so fucking sick. So Gia watches this like this famous doctor on YouTube, right? Mm-hmm. And we we watch him. Like, when we have nothing else to do, fucking he'll go mm-hmm. do shit. Like, just like any other YouTuber, but the guy's a fucking doctor. Yeah. And I'm driving down fucking the parkway the other day, and I see a fucking ad for this motherfucker. <laughs> and it's not even for his practice, it's for his fucking YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Go follow Dr. Mike on YouTube. Go watch my YouTube. I don't give a shit about being a doctor. Go watch my YouTube. Yeah, we're, <laughs> He's I making want, so I want much more money on there. Subscribers. He's Go making get that. so much more money on YouTube than he is being a fucking doctor. How unbelievable is that? <laughs> oh, my God. I can't. Uh, this shit can't be good, dude. This shit can't fucking be good. But fucking made it through another week. Made it through another month. Word. We'll be there. Again. This fucking 2022 is ripping through, bro. We're almost at the end already. Yeah, I know. Before we know, we'll be in summer again. Uh, Shit's fucking fucking wild, huh? Yeah. Before I know, I'll be back with the fucking kids at summer camp where mm-hmm. I work. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And anything else you want to get off your fucking chest before we get the fuck out of here today? Uh, I'm chilling. Eh? It's just, just, I'm just chilling through life. Good. I'm just letting yeah. shit happen the way it happens. Whatever happens, Good. happens. Good. Eh? I can't can't do nothing no more about well, it. Well, fucking until the fucking next time, fellas. Word. Have a goddamn good one. Word. Peace out. Peace out, fellas. I'ma make all these bitches say, damn. I wish I were to fucking stay. I wanna be something, not nothing. Trapped inside my dream and I'm running. Running away from these demons. But the feeling's so good, I'ma keep dreaming.